teams you trust. The teams you love. 97-1, the ticket. Edelman in motion. Brady gets the snap. Pitches out wide. Gets a block. Cuts inside. He digs. He turns. He dives. It is. It is a touchdown. It is a touchdown. New England wins. The Patriots have won. Super Bowl 51. There you go, Kevin Harlan, courtesy of Westwood One. Now, that was it. Final touchdown, 34-28. The Atlanta Falcons didn't get an opportunity to get the football, to have possession of the ball, to potentially you know, tie the game, potentially go down the field, make it interesting, which to me is a rule that the NFL absolutely has to change. Does it need to change for the regular season? No. I, I don't think it's necessarily a big deal in the regular season because those games aren't as important as the Super Bowl or as a playoff game. But to me, the one thing that I'm left, you know, walking away feeling empty about, which again, it was a great game, okay? I mean, it had the ebbs and flows that you kind of want, even though it was very lopsided in one half and then very lopsided in the other direction in the second half. That not necessarily the greatest thing in the world, but it was still an amazing game and an amazing finish, right? But the one thing that, that I would point to and say, oh, I don't like that. The Atlanta Falcons should have had a chance to tie that game. 248-539-9797. Ticket text is at 97136. Also out there for you, Atlanta obviously got up 28-3 to in this one with a little over eight and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. Patriots outscore them 31 to nothing the rest of the way. It was remarkable. It really was. But was it more the Falcons blowing this game, or was it the Patriots simply going out there and taking it? Both of those things out there for you, 248-539-9797. Back to the phones. Let's talk to Andy in Farmington. You're on 97 won the ticket. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Kyle. Nice talking to you. I absolutely agree with Judy. I mean, a coin flip shouldn't. Mm Mm-hmm help uh, decide this championship. It's a billion dollar a year industry. What do they have? Trains to catch or something, these teams? You know, this is it. It's silly. Yeah, no, I'm with you, Andy. See, and the thing is, too, uh, about the NHL, like, they, they change their rules, you know, once the playoffs actually start. You know, in the NHL in the regular season, five minute overtime, shootout. That's it. That, that decides it. In the playoffs, you play until somebody scores. And it's an equal amount of time, obviously, not equal possession because, you know, the better team is probably going to be possessing the puck more often than not. But it is all about, you know, an equal amount of time. And you go out there and you play that game, whether it be, you know, two extra periods, four extra periods, whatever it's going to take. That is what ultimately decides a champion. I think the NFL should look at doing a similar thing because the fact that Matt Ryan didn't get a chance is, in my mind, reprehensible. Robert, on a cell, you're on 97 on the ticket. Hey, Robert. Hey, how you doing? Terrific. Well, all right. Uh, we agree on a couple of things, but not a lot. Now, I'm a former collegiate and professional football player. All right. And one thing I'm going to tell you is I do not agree with you on saying both teams should get the ball. Atlanta had their chance. Um, Matt Ryan had their opportunity. And one thing I know from all the years of playing and coaches telling me, is when we have an opponent down, our goal is to put them away. If you have one of the top-ranked defenses in the league, you should be able to stop that opposing team, whether it's Tom Brady, whom I love, and I was rooting for the Patriots. But my thing is, as a defensive player, I play corner. You have to do your job, and you have to go out there and shut that offense down to give your offense the opportunity to score so that way – You know, it's not about what's fair. What's fair is, okay, you guys played your hearts out. You guys are going to another quarter. What I'm talking about is games in which neither defense is very good. Neither defense can come up with a stop. It is literally a game that is the last team with the possession of the ball is going to win. How is that game being decided with one more extra possession for the team that's been scoring all game? You know, they go to right down the field and score and the game's over as opposed to, you know, both teams, both offenses probably deserving a chance to do it. That's my argument, I guess. But but here's 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 the thing. You know that when you go out there for a coin toss. Okay, if, if, uh, I know, I know if that. it's heads, if it's heads for us and tails for them, it, it may be unfair, but that's the, that's the nature of the beast. I mean, that's the hand that we're dealt when we go out there as athletes and we play. We know that, okay, if that offense has been scoring, we know that 
we got our hands full. We got to try and get that ball back. Obviously, they had a chance to you know step on the throat of the Patriots. I appreciate the call, dude. Uh, I mean, there's no doubt that the Falcons probably should have been able to close that game out. I mean, Kyle Shanahan, you know, deciding to pass in that third and one when they were up twenty eight to twelve, and then uh, Dante Hightower coming up with the strip sack. Patriots recover. They make it 28 to 20, a one possession game. Probably should have run the football, you know, and tried to get a first down there, right? Instead of trying to pass. And then, of course, you know, you end up missing an assignment and Dante Hightower comes free and makes a play. The next possession, of course, Atlanta had an opportunity. They were at the Patriots 22 yard line, already up eight, but a one possession game. They could have made it a two possession game by kicking a field goal there or doing something. Getting any kind of points would have made it a two possession game. They failed to do that because they were in passing situations. They got a penalty and then, of course, a sack. And it ended up being fourth and 33. And they had to punt the football away and give it to Tom Brady with roughly three minutes to work with in his Super Bowl, which obviously you knew that that game was going to be tied. Do you think the NFL needs to look at changing the overtime rule for the playoffs? I'm Kyle Bogan, 97 on the ticket. The baseball team that Detroiters love most. The Detroit Tigers live here. 